Hi everyone, happy new year to you. Yes, it's New Year's Day. There's a great big bright thing in the sky right now, which I have missed quite a bit. I actually went out on my bike this morning and the view, you know the one that I really love, it looked amazing today and I thought, no, don't stop to take any footage. Let's just carry on motoring through. It's not been the most exciting <laughs> New Year's Day in the world. I think we're just gearing up for my little boy going back to preschool, although he's not actually going back tomorrow. I only just found out that they're only going back on Wednesday and I do actually go back to work tomorrow. So luckily the childminder who has him either side of preschool had already got him booked in for the day. So I'm glad one of us is organised. Today I've just been preparing for the week ahead, even though I'm actually only working one day this week, which has just worked out marvellously. Hopefully there'll be some exciting stuff happening this month. I'm not saying this like I know that something's happening because I don't. I don't think we really have anything planned, but you never know. It's a fresh year, brand new, fresh start. Hopefully I will lose lots of weight. I've kind of given myself a bit of an informal target of my birthday. My birthday is in July this year. So yeah, I'd like to think that by my birthday, I will be in a much happier place. Notice how I'm not putting any numbers on that because I actually have no idea what I want my weight to be because I have literally been overweight for such a long time now I have no idea so I find it really interesting when people I know tell me and I'm not like probing for information they just offer it up themselves but when they tell me what their weight is it kind of gives me something to picture and visualize because yeah I don't want to get too hung up on numbers, but I suppose it's quite nice to have a target sometimes. But I would guesstimate, as of right now, me sitting here, my current weight, I could probably lose probably about five or six stone, actually. Which, let me just work that out if you don't know what on earth I've just said. Because that might not sound like very much, but five stone in pounds is 70, 70 pounds. Yeah, that's totally achievable though. It's not ridiculous. I have lost four, four and a half stone before. So I know it's about not getting too hung up on the weekly and just kind of looking at the progress of where you've come so far and the overall number. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because clearly I'm in a really talkative mood today and I'm getting arm ache or rather handache. So I hope you're all really well and you had a lovely New Year's and you've got some exciting stuff planned for this year. We don't as such, but it's the first day today. It's day one of 365. So there's plenty of chances there to make something exciting happen. Hello, so it is Wednesday the 3rd? I think of January, I am totally losing the plot. So I went to work yesterday for my first day back, which was as expected, it was very busy, and I was trying to get out the door in usual style, but it was my only day in for the week, so it was always gonna be quite hard. But today, it's been so random weather-wise. The wind and the rain woke me up at half past three this morning. I thought it was gonna blow the roof off. It was so bad. I then, after dropping the boy to preschool, thought it would be a good idea to go out on my bike. Basically, there's one kind of long, gradual hill, which isn't too bad. I can go up there, no problem. But boy, was I motivated this morning because suddenly it started to not just rain, it was very windy, but there was hail as well. And I was literally getting stung like all down my ear, my neck, it was going down my back. And all I could do was laugh basically, because what else can you do when it's actually quite painful and you're on a bike and you're kind of at the halfway point of your route where you think there's no point in turning back. I may as well just carry on. Plus it's weigh-in day tomorrow, so you know. 
added extra incentive. So I just carried on. I did have to cut my ride short because it got to the point where in the village there are some low points and some higher points and when I got to the highest point in the village I was just being blown around all over the place and I couldn't see because I had my glasses on and they were all covered in rain and I just thought do you know what I'm only shaving off about a mile and a half of my usual route I think I can live with that let's just go home and by the time I got home I could have wrung my clothes out it was ridiculous I took my cycling leggings off um well that was quite a feat in itself. It was very tricky. I had to kind of peel them off because they were stuck to me so bad. And my legs were just bright red where they were so cold. So yeah, it's been an eventful day, but right now it's really sunny outside. So maybe I should have saved going out until now. Never mind. Anyway, I have got a couple of things to show you guys because before I did all of that, I had to go to the post office because I'd missed a couple of deliveries yesterday. So, you want to have a sneaky peek. So when I said sneaky peek, I wasn't kidding. I have tried these on already. This one is actually still inside out, but it's a very, very big clue there as to what it could be. So what kind of Game of Thrones t-shirt do you think I have gone for? There was only one that I really, really knew I wanted. Well, to be fair, when I started looking, actually, there's lots, but this was the original one that I wanted. And of course, got a bit of Harry Potter as well. So those are a couple of sale things I picked up. The delivery that I was really excited about is this one here, which you can see I've already had a little bit of a look at. So this is a candle. This was from Space NK, I think, in the sale. And this is their Shimmering Spice Candle, which sells out every year in the sale because it goes half price. And I finally got my hands on one. So I'm really looking forward to giving that a go because I've heard it's really nice. I then got this set from Lipstick Queen, which is minis of their transforming lipsticks, which I will try on in a second and we'll have a look, see what they're all about. I'm very intrigued by those. These two, now this, is very exciting to the point I'm actually just going to grab one and we're going to do a live test of it just to see what I make of it. Right. What this is, it's a lip balm. This is from the brand By Terry. Now, chances are you may know already without me saying any more what lip balm this is going to be because this is a cult lip balm that I've always wanted to try because, as you know, I do appreciate a good lip balm. And this is their pretty well known, I think, Balm de Rose lip balm. And this is just a baby, baby version of it, which was included as a Christmas gift. The price of this, £20. The full size of this, I think, is £39. So you can see why I have never used it before, because that is bonkers. And how much is in here? Three grams. That really should put it into perspective how pricey this stuff is. Or 0.1 ounces. It's a very cute packaging. I believe that this is identical to the full size. It's in a frosted glass little pot with a more of a kind of metallic lid. That's what the product looks like. It actually looks really quite nice, doesn't it? Looks quite creamy. I've heard this is one of these products that once you've tried it, that's kind of it and nothing else will compare. So I've got to be honest, my expectations are pretty high right now. It's quite a small pot though, this one, and I don't think my finger's gonna fit in there properly, so I'm probably gonna have to scrape some off onto my nail or something. I don't know how much to use. That's a really small amount. Okay, you ready for this? Go. Oh. It's really difficult to move around. It's incredibly sticky but not in a lip gloss kind of way exactly. It's just kind of, it is like an ultra, ultra concentrated lip balm, which is making me hopeful that once it's on, it's gonna have some good lasting power. And I was wondering about the scent of this. I assumed it would have a rose scent, which it does, but it's, it is a floral rose, but it's also got a sweet kind of edge to it, almost along the lines of, like a floral Turkish delight kind of scent and slight taste as well. 
I could probably do with a little bit more, I think, but I want to also test those Lipstick Queen lipstick thingies as well. I do have two of them because I thought I'm going to grab them because when they do gifts like this for Christmas they always go into the sale and they always sell out really quickly and they did this year but fortunately I got in there quick enough to manage to actually pick up two. So I will put this to the test and let you know at some point what I actually make of it but first impressions yeah it's definitely like nothing I've ever used before and hopefully that will be a good thing. Okay, let's grab those Lipstick Queen lipsticks and have a bit of fun. So the three that have come in this set are Morning Sunshine, Frog Prince and Hello Sailor. So I know that the Frog Prince one should go quite pinky. Morning Sunshine I think is more of a coral and then Hello Sailor I think is like purpley or something. So should we go for Frog Prince first, which I think is this one. How cute is this packaging? So, as far as I know, whoa, look at the colour of that. These lipsticks are unique in so much as they adapt to your pH or your temperature or something I can't remember now. So it should look pretty unique and therefore actually suit you. So there's a natural light shot, that is frog prints on me, which through the camera, it's actually looking a little bit more toned down than in real life. I think, yeah, that's made it a little bit more wearable. I think I just maybe had a little bit too much on. So yeah, I think I would actually wear that one. Let's go for, I think this is morning sunshine. Yes, it is. So this should be yellow, I think, which it is. So exciting. Is this going to be really bright as well, do you think? It probably is, isn't it? Oh no, it's not, it's not quite as obvious, I don't think, as the pink one. I know it's total novelty factor with this, but I just, I love stuff like that. Okay, yeah, maybe that is quite bright. That's actually pulled really red on me. I thought it was gonna be quite corally. Actually, in proper daylight, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's definitely more red toned than the Frog Prince one, which was quite fuchsia-y. But I think I'd probably wear that as is. I think the thing is, my natural lip colour is quite dark because whenever I get foundation on my lips and then I wipe it off, I'm always a bit like, <gasps> Whoa, yes, my lips are really standing out because they're quite bright. The last one now, and this was Hello Sailor, is it? I love the name of that. So this I think is blue or purple or something. Yeah, it's very much blue. What do we think this is gonna do? Because so far I'm liking all of them. Is this gonna be the one that I don't like? Yeah, quite a subtle purple I think so far. I really like the formula of these, they're feeling quite nourishing, almost lip balmy. Because the colour is quite sheer, but once it's on it's like, oh actually, there's quite a bit of colour going on there. Not sure about this one. So yeah, you can see how much more blue toned, sort of purpley toned this one is. I think just looking in the mirror here, I am looking a little bit washed out on camera, which is making my lips look a little bit, I don't know, kind of vampire-ish or something. But this colour actually goes really well with what I'm wearing today. I've got more of like a grey smoky eye look going on, I've got a dark grey t-shirt, and it does actually look really nice. I just think I'm being a bit distracted by my pale face, which in real life does not look as pale as that. It's definitely washing me out quite a lot. So that is all three of them swatched for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. I actually do really like all three. I can see me wearing all three of them and they're different enough for it to actually make it worthwhile getting that set, I think. It was half price. I think it was about 11 pounds, so it's not so bad. But I'm going to leave this one on actually because like I said I think it goes quite well with what I'm wearing today. It's a little bit more vampy than I would usually go because of the fact that it, it does have that kind of purple tone to it. But why not? We will embrace something different today. Now I know what you're thinking. 
this looks bad, doesn't it? It does look pretty splurgy. But that is my little boy's new car seat because he's outgrown the other one. Those are some boots all the way from the US, which I feel like I've been waiting for forever. And they were an absolute bargain from Zooily. So I hope they're okay. That is just a random, boring Amazon order. It's probably Tupperware and something equally as unexciting as that. And that is the little stash that I got in the sale. Yay! Hi everyone. So it's Thursday the 11th of January. Let me take these off because I can already see quite an annoying reflection. I hope you're all really well. Today was weigh-in day for me today and to be perfectly honest with you, hi. it's been a bit of an emotional day today. Oh, thank you. That was lovely. If a little bit sloppy. I had weigh-in this morning, that went really well, so let's just get the news about that out of the way. Um, I lost two and a half pounds, so adding that to my half pound from last week means I have lost all of the weight that I gained for Christmas week, the three pounds, so I'm really happy with that. And I am now one pound away from my stone or 14 pounds award. So yeah, that was really positive. And then after that, it's just been a bit of a funny day today, really. I've seen my mum today and we had lunch together and we had this conversation, um, which was actually really quite a sad conversation. She had something really awful happen where she lives. Um, not her immediate neighbor, but someone who lives quite close by just suddenly dropped dead and he was only 60 and he's got grandchildren of like I think four so the same age as my little boy and as she was talking I could just feel myself thinking about the circumstances in which he died which I'm not I'm not going to go into detail about because I don't want to get anyone upset I think it was a heart attack um, but he collapsed and he was on his way to the doctors. I'm actually going into detail now, aren't I? But he was on his way to the doctors and um, he literally had his coat on and he was about to go out the door and he obviously, I mean, we're assuming all of this because obviously he can't tell us, but um, he started to call 999 and I think they sent like a first response person and because of how he'd collapsed or obviously couldn't answer the door, um, they had to call the fire brigade to break the door down, basically. And it's just, it, it absolutely breaks your heart. And he actually died at the scene, um, didn't even manage to get him to hospital. And it's just a bit of a wake up call really that life is quite short so oh I was trying not to get upset it's been a difficult day today um I didn't even know him <laughs> but it's just such sad circumstances thinking about his family and stuff anyway god didn't mean to didn't mean to do that anyway I will speak to you again soon another time where hopefully it can be um, less of an emotional catch-up, I suppose. Look at that! Oh my gosh! That's so beautiful. Why do sun is turn um, like that into red? It's going good because it gets darker. Oh, there's a spider there. Where? Where, Mummy? So hang on a sec. It's nearly gone now. Is it really going down? Yeah, it's disappearing. And it's gone. I've never actually caught it going down before. And it's gone. The sky is so red. Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 13th of January and I've just had a delivery from Feel Unique's pick and mix service and one of the things I ordered was a foundation 
but I took a bit of a risk with it because I saw that they had the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, is that its name? Yeah, Ultra HD foundation available and they only had the medium and dark kind of kit, I suppose, because there's a couple of shades in here. The light one, I'm guessing, had sold out because I've not been checking Theonique's Pick and Mix service as often as I should. So I thought about it, I checked swatches and I just thought let's just go with it, let's try the medium. So I've already actually taken the shades out and here they are. So there's concealer in there and foundation. So I'm going to pop this on and hope for the best and I'll check back with you in a second and we'll see how it's looking shall we? I forgot to mention, I also picked up the primer that they had as well. This is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and I think it's supposed to blur stuff. So I've got some on my finger. I'm really conscious of the fact that I haven't done any foundation reviews for ages, and I still have a ton of foundations to test. It's just a case of finding a day where I can test it and film it and all that stuff but it's my short week at work next week and usually when I say things like this I kind of mess everything up and it doesn't happen but I'm hoping that I'll be able to film a foundation review next Wednesday and I know exactly which one I'm going to do. I'm going to carry on putting primer on my face, I'm going to put some foundation on and I will be back in a second. Okay and there is the finished look and I really, really like it. It's not totally full coverage. I can still see stuff, but then that's fine because, you know, you want your skin to kind of look a bit like skin. So I use the concealer and foundation from Makeup Forever. The concealer is an R30 and the foundation was Y325. I then did my usual eyebrow combo, which is the Ico Gel Hourglass Arch. Oh, and to put the foundation on, I just used my Zoeva 104 and it was so easy to put on, loved that. I then just used a couple of colours from here. I just used the lighter shades as a base, then this kind of sparkly pink one down here called Cunning, and then the one right in the middle called Feline, a little bit of that. And then that massive gold shimmery one I've actually used as a bit of a highlight which, yeah, it's definitely there. Don't know if it's showing up. Blush, I used this new palette that I picked up from Tarte. And it's tricky to do one-handed. I used, yeah, this one here, which is called Graceful. And it's kind of like a corally pink with a bit of a sparkle to it as well, which is not something I'd normally go for, but I think it looks really nice. Mascara was my usual Diego de la Palma and I've gone pretty naturally today, not too much volume but quite a bit of definition and length so I'm liking that. Is that everything that's on my face? Oh the only last thing I want to do is put a bit of colour on because at the moment all I've got on is this by Terry lip balm which I'm still testing out but I really like it. I think I've only used it the once, I can't remember how dark it is but I just want a little hint of something and that's looking like more than a hint isn't it oh well I just love how easy that is to put on and the fact that it changes color really appeals to me and I think we're done and I'm not really going anywhere I've just got jeans on and kind of a slouchy top and I'm gonna go get myself some lunch now because basically I'm going in super slow-mo today but yeah really happy with how that looks I will pop back at the end of the day and we'll see how this foundation has worn. And just in case it helps you see everything a little bit better, I have come right into the window in my little boy's room just so that you can see. But I am really, really digging this makeup today. Yeah, really like it. So just quickly checking back in with you, I have been wearing this foundation for about five hours I think and I am super shiny <laughs> but then 
that's pretty normal. The foundation doesn't seem to have broken down at all, it still seems to look pretty nice, the coverage is still good, it was a joy to apply, so I do quite like it. I think I didn't use any powder at all, I did use their primer, and I used a moisturiser that I haven't used for a really long time, so there were quite a lot of variables going along in this experiment. But I will give it another go tomorrow and I'll try some other stuff which I know should hopefully control the shine situation. But yeah, I just thought I would check in with you because I've not completely made up my mind on this, but I do actually quite like it, I think. Yes. Um, I'm having... You haven't coming, Daddy haven't coming, mine haven't coming, haven't popped on. Yummy! Yep. Curry for dinner. One of my favourites. Absolutely love a curry with poppadoms and everything. Because it's a proper Saturday night dinner, I think, really, isn't it? I don't know whether you guys do that. You have certain things that you eat on certain days. But for me, curry on the weekend, although to be fair, curry any time. Actually, any time is curry time. I love curry. And on that note... I will see you again.